our willow tree. In our backyard, there stood a beautiful weeping willow tree. That is, it was beautiful until a terrible tragedy happened. Our willow was spent in just the right places so that we could climb up and sit upon its big limbs. They seemed to hug us as we played for hours. The children loved our willow tree as if it was part of the family. We had so many nice picnics there where all the family and friends met to play games and eat. Willow gave us a cool place to be in the warm weather. The long, leafy limbs let us know when there was the slightest breeze. One day, Mom said, it is a beautiful day. Let's have a party in honor of our blessed mother. The children ran to tell their friends. I'll make a cake, Mom said, and some lemonade. When we invited the children in the neighborhood to come and bring a flower for the blessed mother of God, Mother served the cake and we sang songs. All the kids were very happy. So was Willow as her leaves fluttered merrily in the breeze. In the summer, Mom would have big parties under Willow, hanging pretty lanterns on the branches to make light for us to see as the sun went down. One day, the Noel children built a tree house up in the long limbs of Willow. Her friends all had a chance to play in it. Willow held that house for many years. When Big Sister told us she was to be married and have her party on the lawn under Willow, everyone was excited, even Willow. That meant there would be lots of company, fun, and eats. Then Mom tied a white ribbon with large bow around Willow's trunk. Chairs and tables with long white tablecloths were set around the lawn. Willow looked so beautiful as her branches swayed back and forth in the breeze. When the bride and groom came from the church, everyone gathered on the lawn to greet them. There was so much laughter and joy, even Willow was happy. What a lovely day this was. One day, the children were sitting on a big branch of Willow when the wind started to blow very hard. When Mom looked out and saw how the dark clouds were covering the sky, she became worried for the children. She called the children to come down out of the tree and into the house because of a bad storm. They climbed down and ran quickly into the house. A thundering crash sounded so loud it frightened them. A bright streak of lightning flashed very nearby, and the rain poured. We all huddled together, knowing that something terrible had happened outside. When the thunder and rain stopped, we looked out the window. Oh, how awful it was. The lightning had struck our tree. Willa was split right down the middle. We were very sad. It was not until then until we knew how much Willa really meant to us. Dad had to bring out the saw and cut down our beloved willow. While Dad was working on the branches, Mom broke off a twig and stuck it into the ground. That winter, our willow logs kept us cozy and warm. They crackled and snapped in the fireplace. We talked about how we'd miss willow in the yard and how loyal she had been to us. Willow was always a good memory. When spring came, while walking in the backyard, a lonely feeling came over us, for we knew it would be empty. But when we glanced further into the yard, there was a willow twig that Mom had stuck into the ground. It was no longer a twig. The twig was part of willow, and it was growing. So even though the family is grown, their children will be playing under a baby willow tree that grew up from our big loyal willow. The end.